to explain the connection between these two important units of energy, we need to explain what each means in turn, starting with the joule. When measuring energy, the joule is the unit that's used the most. The most commonly used definition of a joule is that when a force of one newton is moved one metre in the direction of that force, then one joule of energy is transferred. To give you a rough idea of how much that is, a mass of 100 grams has a weight in the force due to gravity of around one newton. So if we lift this pile of coins up through a distance of one metre, then we have transferred one joule of energy. We have done one joule of work. The problem with using a joule for many applications with machines, and particularly with our consumption of electrical energy in industry and around the home, is that it is a rather small unit. A typical electric heater such as this would convert many millions of joules from electrical energy to heat every hour. The numbers on a household bill would be hard to understand. In fact, they would go well across the page. The numbers would be so large. Consequently, it would be sensible to use larger units, and the one that is most used is the kilowatt hour. Although it's most used, it's not an internationally accepted unit of energy. At least, it's not accepted as one of the SI units. In fact, its common use, I think, is more likely to be based upon historical practice than sheer practicality. The name kilowatt hour is rather confusing because the watt upon which it's based is a unit of power rather than energy. As an aside, I'll explain that. Power is a measurement of how fast work is done. It's not a measurement of total energy. It's how quickly something is done. So if one joule of work is done every second, then that is a power of one watt. For example, if I had lifted that weight earlier in one second, my power doing that useful work would have been one watt. Now a power of one watt isn't exactly impressive and therefore we often use kilowatts, that is a thousand watts. So a small heater like this may have a power of one or two kilowatts, that is converting one or two thousand joules per second. So let's take a machine like the fire that does a thousand watts of work for one hour. It would then convert a thousand times, well, 60 minutes in an hour and 60 seconds in a minute, so a thousand times 60 times 60 joules of energy every hour. That is what a kilowatt hour is. Something that converts a thousand joules per second for a whole hour. That 1000 times 60 times 60 is 3,600,000. So kilowatt hour is equal to 3,600,000 joules of energy. Although kilowatt hours are used commercially, in science we're quite likely to express that still in joules. But rather than just use plain joules, we might use kilojoules or megajoules. So that becomes 3,600 kilojoules or 3.6 megajoules. Thank you for watching.